that shot. Oh, this is that. That is gloriously played. I don't think it adds any extra pressure. I think in terms of expectation, I feel like I put a lot of expectation on myself. So whether I'm playing for Australia or Victoria or Perth Scorchers, I want to score as many runs as I can and contribute to the teams. Obviously, you want to play well in big tournaments and things like that, and that's sort of what I pride myself on. It's about keeping it really simple. You feel a lot more nervous before the game than actually when you get out there. So I, I try and distract myself as much as I can because uh, I think playing the game before it actually happens is a dangerous thing sometimes. And, and I found once I get out in the middle, I'm a lot more comfortable and don't feel as nervous. It's beautifully played. What a glorious shot. I remember the World Cup final in the West Indies. I've never felt so sick <laughs> in my life. Uh, and I don't think I ever will. We played at 8 o'clock at night, so I had the whole day to think about it. It was a disaster. So I do get nervous, um, but it's a good thing. I, I think it means that you really care about what you're doing. Yeah, I was pretty frustrated. And it wasn't just the Ashes series. It was sort of the New Zealand series at the end of the, the previous summer as well, where it just didn't feel like it was really clicking. Yeah, I just wasn't able to dominate as much as I would have liked. So, you know, I was sort of getting a few starts here and there and then just getting out different ways every time, which was more <laughs> frustrating, I guess. The test match I actually thought was a big turning point for me. I was pretty nervous about how I was actually going to play test cricket. I hadn't been that successful at it and sort of had a bit of a light bulb moment. A couple of training sessions before the game started, I think. I was working with Sunny, our analyst, and we just sort of thought about something a little bit different and I actually felt so much more comfortable heading into that innings and yeah, I think I made 50 odd, it wasn't an amazing score but I actually felt really in control of my batting. And then T20 cricket, it allows you to free yourself up. I went out there obviously pretty early and Mitch got out in the first or second over so I suppose that worked in my favour a little bit and played a couple of shots early. I think England misfielded a couple that went to the boundary and when I hit Eccleston over mid on for six which is a shot I never usually play, I was like okay something's, something's happening here so yeah I just sort of kept going. It was, I was saying to Moon who I was batting with, it was really fun, we were enjoying it. I smiled a fair bit through that innings, which might not usually happen out on the field. I'm not as serious as everyone thinks, but I suppose if you don't smile too much, then that's what everyone can, can gather. And it was similar again, like I played a couple of shots that night that I just don't usually play. The six, I think it hit off Georgia Graham over mid on, which is not a usual area for me. When he goes, it's a beautifully struck ball. It's long and it's six. This ain't over yet. So I was a bit like, okay, something's happening here again. Molly bowls a lot to me in the nets in Victoria and I knew exactly what she was doing and she knew exactly what I was going to do. So it was a bit of cat and mouse. So she's bowling to arguably the best in the world. What can she do? Landing on fire. Gives herself yes. room, swats it through. There's going to be another boundary. Two runs or more, it's a Scorchers win. And there she goes. Oh, she's finished it with a six. What an effort from Meg Lanning. Emphatic stuff. Match winning stuff. That's why she's the best in the business. Huge win by the Scorchers.